Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. So as you guys know, I play mostly on my phone. I only use the Steam version for when I'm streaming or recording videos. And uh, if you download the latest update on your phone, you actually get the skill nerf or buff in this case already. So Firm as the Earth uh, is already, if you're using your phone, you can activate it after you lose 1000 life points. So I went ahead and made a popcorn deck uh, some people were asking me if I was going to do anything with it. I mentioned in one of the videos that I used it with Rex. But now I can actually make a deck around him using Firm as the Earth as my primary skill. Now the deck is very pricey as you can see. Especially with this beautiful card right here. Cosmic Cyclone. Which is our main mean to get um, the 1000 life point reduction. You literally activate this and then you can activate your field spell. Which is pretty insane. It's a 500 attack boost. To all your earth monsters uh, which is all of our monsters except for botanical girl which is here just so we can search out popcorn or uh, gigantic cephalotus I think that's how you would pronounce that I only have one of them uh, I would love to have more but you know it's in the, that expensive box so I didn't get a chance to get more so I'm just running the one the three popcorn I have boxer in here because I really like the effect uh, of you know getting counters every time you destroy a monster uh, you, you're not really going to use the special summon effect uh, but you want to keep him on the field uh, with those counters because then you know your opponent he can eat up more than one attack which is great uh, so that's why I'm running the three boxers so with the three cosmic cyclones I'm running one double cyclone which is all I have and it's really cool because you can chain double cyclone to your cosmic cyclone and get rid of two back rows uh, which is pretty cool we also have one powerful rebirth that you can also use your double cyclone on uh, since it doesn't affect the monster that you special summon three enemy controllers pretty standard two mirror walls and one wall of disruption we got the wall brigade this deck is very aggressive uh, i also have one exile force as my tech card in case i need to get rid of any monsters uh, but it's a very aggressive deck you want to get rid of the back row you want to get in there with your papacorn and your boxer uh, because they get super beefy once you use the skill I would have loved to use this deck um, for the stream tonight. By the way, I will be streaming tonight. Uh, probably, let's see. It's probably going to be like 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes to an hour after you guys see this video. If you're watching it, you know, at the time of the release. Uh, but definitely I will be streaming tonight. And I would have loved to use this deck. But like I said, the skill is not fixed on the Steam version yet. Because we haven't got the update. So I'll have to play something else. We're going up against Bonds uh, with a pretty bricky hand. Uh, I like the fact that I have Cosmic Cyclone and Double Cyclone. So I can snipe both of the back rows. And something funny happens actually. <laughs> I end up sniping uh, with the Double Cyclone a Wall Tornado. So he's forced to destroy his uh, Wasteland. And now I'm just hoping to pick up a monster. But luckily for me he bricked just as bad. And finally I get my uh, Gigantic Cephalotus. Activate my uh, skill and I have a 2350 beater on the field and look at that boxer 2300 Easy easy game man. Granted my opponent did brick. Uh, I believe he was playing some some red eyes zombie variant uh, So I got kind of lucky there, but still 2350 and 2300 it's not easy to deal with once you put you know all those enemy controllers mirror walls and stuff in the back to protect them here we got a Taya Gardner um, I knew it was gonna be some sort of OTK uh, you know pretty much any OTK would have screwed with me uh, but I'm going first I have the cosmic cyclone and I just summon my boxer I figured if it was something like this I could snipe off uh, one of the swords to keep them from drawing I, I thought about sniping off the Magical Citadel of Endymion, but I wanted him to play some more cards. Uh, and then he plays a back row, so I go ahead and snipe that instead, which was uh, a bluff, a Golden Bamboo Sword. But I pick up Papacorn, and I can Econ Take. And you're probably wondering, but you don't have a game there. Uh, you forget that I can activate my skill now that I lost 1000 life points, firm as the earth. And look at that betrayal by Magical Exemplar 2200 to the face. 27 from Popcorn. The easiest 
the easiest of wins. This is probably going to be a short video. <laughs> no, um, none of the duels lasted that long. Unlike uh, tomorrow's video that I already recorded. That one, uh, it's a little bit longer. But hope you guys enjoy it as well. We got a Valiant Crawler. And I think all these skills go in effect on the 24th. I want to say that's when it is. So... You know, about a week or so, a little bit less than a week. Uh, but as you can see, uh, this skill, Middle Age Max, because I was playing on the phone, was already nerfed for my player. I'm assuming the, I mean my opponent. It doesn't activate until their first turn. So that means if they go first, they get to activate it right away. If they go second, they have to wait until it's their turn. So we see the Ancient Gear Castle. I use my enemy controller. And then I summon my Exile Force. I could have gone for the effect, but I decide to attack instead. We see the Sphere Karibo on the Boxer. No reaction on the Exile Force attack. And then we see uh, Ancient Gear... What's the name of this? Ancient Gear Beast. Uh, I let him destroy my, uh, my Exile Forces. Save the enemy controller for the battle phase. We see Ultimate Providence. I was not expecting that. Uh, which is, but it's fine. I'm still gonna get to destroy the ancient gear beast. I still have a wall of disruption to fall back on. We see another ancient gear castle and a face down. Now I could have used my cosmic cyclone right away and sniped that back row, but I wanted to wait and see if uh, if he said something else. If he didn't use, you know, the I didn't have game anyway, so destroying this card wasn't gonna give me that much of a benefit. But once he ends turn here and he doesn't set anything else, I go ahead and snipe it. It was a wall of disruption that he was saving, you know, for once I summon a second monster. And now that I have game, uh, you know, enough damage to, to have game, I go ahead and activate that cosmic cycle. That was the, the process thought in that play, in case you guys were wondering. We're going up against Rex Raptor. Which is a tricky matchup since he does run Earth Dinosaurs and they are going to get the buff from your field spell as well. So you got to be careful when you're going up against Rex. I go first. We see the Black Brachios. Um, I decide to just set my Botanical Girl so I can search my, um, my Papacorn. But when I see the Hydrogedon, I decide to go for the wall disruption instead. I don't need him special summoning monsters. I snipe one of the back rows. We see the um, powerful rebirth getting banished right there. I'm able to take care of both monsters. Try to go for game. He's got fossil excavation which would have been clutch for him but I have the econ. Uh, so I go for the econ cheese. Hit him in the face. You gotta love that econ cheese man. And then the last duel is going to be another Valiant Crawler, which I, I thought it was going to be a bit of a harder matchup since all the Ancient Gear monsters are also Earth. Uh, but once you snipe their back row off, uh, they're pretty vulnerable. We're going second. Beautiful hand with... Um, Giant Cephalotus, which I didn't go over the, the effect of this card, but it gains 200 attack every time a plant type monster is sent from the field to the graveyard. Uh, here I have the clutch cosmic cyclone and double double cyclone combo, so I can immediately snipe the back row. But the pulse mines definitely changes my play a whole lot. Instead of going for the Cephalotus and destroying the, uh, you know, to try to destroy the monster, I just set my botanical girl instead. But because we see the Ancient Gear Beast that's going to negate the effect, I go ahead and use Enemy Controller. Activate my skill. 2350 Cephalotus, 1300 to the face. But he does have his uh, Ancient Gear Castle still, so I was worried about the, uh, the Ancient Gear Golem. Destroys my Botanical Girl, I get a Surge, and my Cephalotus goes to 2550. Activate Powerful Rebirth, and just in case there's a Karibo or something, I go for the Econ take. 
Even though once my botanical girl leaves the field, my cephalotus gets another 200 attack. 2750 to the face. And that's it. Nice and easy. This deck is very aggressive. I, I love this deck. I'm already having a lot of fun with it. Like I said, I would have loved to use it on the stream, but we might save it for next week's stream. Um, there's a Papacorn. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely uh, come check out the stream. It's going to be on Twitch. I will post a follow-up video once I do go live uh, so you guys can go. But hope, hope you guys make it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Join my Discord if you haven't. The link's going to be down in the description along with my PayPal link. If you guys want to support my channel, support the content. Really appreciate that. And also my Twitch uh, link is going to be under there. So that's it. Till next time.